Okay, after finishing the fields, you are going to continue uh, Mugraf Effector, Mugraf uh, Menu, and after the Cloner, select the Cloner. After the Cloner, we begin with the Matrix. As you can see, if you select, the, if you uh, bring the Cloner here, just the Cloner need, uh, need the object to child with that to clone it. The Cloner is a real one it means you need a something to clone so for cloning that for example we uh, bring a cube here and we need to make a child and it's clone and we're going to the box and make it smaller and i think that's nice Okay, I go to the cloner. I want to uh, explain the difference between the matrix and the cloner. There are uh, exactly the similar to each other, as you can see. The settings are similar, but the cloner is a different, a little different between matrix. And in a lot of cases, we have to use a matrix and then the as an object give to the uh, cloner. I tell you now. So, um, change it here. Oh, no, no, we are in a cloner. Change it to the end point and add more. <clears throat> we can add it to up angle and bring it to the up now. That's right. And I think, yeah, that's okay because I want to use uh, deformer for uh, explaining different, the main different between matrix and cloner. So I want to add a deformer. You can add it, for example, a bulge or I use a bulge. <clears throat> for assigning a bulge to the cloner, as I said before, we need a null because you have to make a child of the object, okay? You can refer to the uh, I explained all of them in detail before. Bring a null and bring both of them under a null. And okay, this is our bulge. You can bring the bulge here. You can change its position and anything that you want. Okay, you can make it, uh, I think, raise its handle. Go into the bulge and change the strings and as you can see we have a ball here and as you can see it deforms it deforms the object in cloner okay this is cloner okay we bring the sorry uh, select the null and bring the cloner here to uh, try exactly this with matrix this is an our matrix and as you can see this is a it's automatically clone some cube here but but they are not real cube if you go to render and as you can see they disappear because they are not real cube they are just a data the first benefit of the matrix is a data and it's uh, if you uh bring a lot of as you can see if you select a matrix we have the mode to all of that mode of the uh cloner but here we have just matrix only they are just a node and or you can use a thinking particle that we have a mode and that's it we have just a, a little because they are just data and now i want to explain the main difference between that okay Go to the matrix and we are going to the cloner and set it exactly like this grid and 7, 10, 1. Okay, grid 7, 10, 1 to make it that. And uh, going to the cloner. Yeah, I think. Mm hmm. Uh, going to exactly this <clears throat> endpoint. Okay. And let's see. Yeah. 
Okay, this is our matrix and you can go in transform and make the uh, in a transform you can double the scale of the that visualization of the cube they are not real cube okay don't forget that uh, make it three times bigger to match that okay this is uh, our matrix and I want to add this matrix as you can see uh, it has no child here it just visualize that nodes okay you can uh, you can display like a color index weight anything that you want exactly like clone i want to give exactly this bulge to that control and click to make it a copy and bring it there okay and now let's see the difference between them bring a null bring both matrix and bulge under a null and as you can see, the most important difference between the matrix and the cloner is this. The matrix does not deform, just change the object's position according to the that deformer, that uh, <clears throat> spline, that particle that I explain you now. As you can see, just change the position of that nodes and does not deform them. Okay. So if you want to use the cloner to the deformer to the particle and to the heavy scene you have to first set the metrics and after that you have to uh, use the cloner okay so this is our cloner this is our main cloner with this bulge you instead of uh, instead of using the cloner here you can instead of using the grid for example uh for example i want to exactly uh, like this okay uh, this is our cloner with that bulge with that cube but i don't want to those cube deform just i want to change it position in the uh, the this curve of the bulge okay so this is an grid okay if you go to the cloner this cloner and make it the object it will be disappear okay it's uh, tell you okay which object do you want to deform with that you have to set it to the this matrix that you set it in this case you don't need to the bulge also here you don't need to do that because we want to set exactly the coordination of the matrix and you can click and drag the matrix to the object and as you can see, you can disappear. Oh, sorry. Uh, turn off the matrix. And you have to go in here. And this is our cube. You can make it smaller. Uh, just uh, pay attention to the, its position. Make all of the matrix and cloner uh, at the uh, unique coordination. And as you can see, our uh, cloner our cloner is based on the matrix that we create before with a bulge and this cloner set to the object and we assign the matrix as this object for that cloner and this cloner we don't need to the bulge and this cloner you can i think bring the the object anywhere that you want or the null if you change the null it will be changed here also so again if you, you want to use the cloner uh, of in deformer okay in a deformer here and the particle that are very huge number of that you can use the uh, matrix okay this is the first example another example that you can uh, combine where is that simulation to emitter this is on this is our emitter here you can play it and as you can see, this is, I explained it uh, next. This is uh, lifetime. Yeah, that's good. You can increase the number of the emit. 
okay we need more frame and this is our emitter you can as you can see if you give it to the cloner uh, we have lots of data and uh, we need a powerful system instead of using the cloner you can give the emitter to the matrix here to mograph you can add a matrix this is a matrix you can assign it to the emitter okay what can i do you can uh select the emitter okay uh i want to the matrix so let's set it to the object and i want to this matrix controlled by the emitter you can click and drag emitter uh as object and as you can see it emit the matrix and it's it's very light because they are not real object as you can see if you render does not happen anything and you can tweak and you can add a force you can do a lot of thing to this emitter if you go to the matrix if you set it to the emitter two settings will be appear here that's what they are very <clears throat> interesting you can go to the emitter and in the forces you can add a turbulence for example to that okay we need a more frame to see it better as you can see this is our <clears throat> uh, turbulence you can add a strength frequency and as you can see we have a more turbulence here okay uh, i don't want to give you uh, confuse you but uh, if you add a deformer you can add a the linear feel to this uh, emitter and in some cases uh, that this notes will be stretched okay if you go to the emitter and in a particle we have uh, here a scale okay for example n scale to make it a zero uh, during its their lifetime they are going to the zero as you can see they are going smaller and smaller and uh, disappear <clears throat> at the end of their lifetime oh the lifetime is very huge like this as you can see it at the end of the i explained it later so uh, if you set this it allows you you can uh, to change this isn't about velocity stre uh, stretched uh, sometimes this uh, particles will be a stretch and if you set the velocity to 100 as you can see they are stretched okay see it they are stretched so you can control the velocity of a stretched of here so 100 percent or above that and it's uh, allowed to uh, object a stretch with the uh, particle system okay this is one setting here and uh, here is a particle scale you can turn it on and as you can see uh, <clears throat> it's also a scale down if you go to the emitter and uh, change the scale to for example zero it means it at the end of the timeline they will, uh, they will disappear and of course uh, if are they're going to small and uh, disappear also the matrix visualization go uh, going to the small and that's it to scale down and go to the zero you can double it actually in here okay we set it and it's as you can see it's very nice and easy and now we want to assign it to the cloner because if you render it we have nothing this isn't data that these are not cubes this isn't data visualize the data to create your complex scene okay if you want to use this such a huge number as you can see if you you, you you can you can you can directly use a cloner to the emitter it's not point but it's got very heavy for example i bring a cube coin or platonic so more i guess make it smaller and going to make it a child of the cloner and in a cloner we set it to the object and we want to drive 
this cloner by the, this matrix that we assign it to the emitter and uh, this is our final result. You can use the matrix, any force, any emitter. This is our final. We want to drive this cloner by this data that called matrix and season heavy. And after you finishing, you can assign it then as object. And after that, you need to turn off the matrix. Just hide it. And as you can see, we have uh, exactly our object in cloner. And it's little bit heavier. Interesting. And as you can see, our particles are stretching, and uh, you can stretch the object if you want in this direction. As you can see, you can see stretched. Or you can make it a zero that we have no stretching object. Okay, as you can see, we have a stretching particle. <clears throat> so another usage of the matrix is this, and that's all. You can use a lot of projects with the matrix. These are data. And after that, give this data to your own final cloner as an object. And it's replace it and turn, holding Alt, double click it, and turn the distraffer light <coughs> off the red to hide. And after that, you can render your output. So, again. Okay. If you use to a heavy scene, first using matrix, define your settings. It's very light because they are not actual <coughs> uh, object. Or if you want to use the matrix as a deformer, or if you want to combine the, your cloner to the deformer, and in some situation, it's almost situation, if you don't want to deform your object in cloner, you have to use matrix because the matrix is a data and just for example if you deform something and uh, curvy things because the cloner is an actual object it deformed but if you want to create exactly that way of that object that you don't want to deform you can use the matrix you saw before in per, in a previous example Okay, this is the usage of the matrix. It is exactly like a cloner, but a few settings because they are just data. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.